To understand what multisig is and why it's favored among serious Bitcoin investors, we must first recognize the problems it was created to solve. If you own Bitcoin, you'll have to find a way to keep it secure. Trusting an exchange or other custodian to hold your Bitcoin can be dangerous, as demonstrated by countless institutional failures over the years. Instead, you can take self-custody of your Bitcoin, but you might be concerned about making a mistake and losing items or information you're responsible for. This is where multisig can help, and in this video, we'll cover how. Before we get to multisig, let's talk about its predecessor, single sig. A single signature Bitcoin wallet is a basic method of securing Bitcoin with just one piece of secretive information, known as a private key. To spend Bitcoin, the private key is required to apply the correct cryptographic signature to the transaction. This is how your Bitcoin is protected from theft. If you keep your private key safe and offline, such as by using a hardware wallet and following best practices, it will be very difficult for attackers to steal Bitcoin from you. But what if your physical private key gets stolen, misplaced, or destroyed in a natural disaster. The risk of permanently losing access to your own money is what makes many people apprehensive about taking self-custody. Multisig can substantially mitigate this risk. So what is multisig? A multi-signature wallet is designed with multiple unique private keys. The number of keys involved is customizable, and so is the number of signatures required to spend funds out of the wallet. These structures are called M of N quorums, where N is the total number of keys involved, and M is the required number of unique signatures to withdraw Bitcoin. Certain multi-sig quorums can help remove all single points of failure from your self-custody setup, protecting you from mistakes. For example, if you build a two of three multi-sig wallet and keep the three keys in separate locations, then unexpected mishaps are very unlikely to result in lost funds. If one of the keys was lost or destroyed by a natural disaster, you could react by using your remaining two keys to recover the Bitcoin. Similarly, if a bad actor gained access to one of the locations and stole a key, the thief would not have all the pieces they need to withdraw from your wallet. Other quorums like one of n quorums, such as one of two or one of three, do not provide adequate resistance to theft because if any one of the keys is exposed to someone, that person will be pretty close to being able to steal from you. On the other hand, n of n quorums, such as two of two or three of three, would imply that if any one of the several keys is lost or destroyed, you will no longer be able to spend Bitcoin. Quorums that fit in between these two extremes are the sweet spot for addressing both categories of single points of failure, loss and theft. The least complex arrangement that satisfies both goals is two of three, which is also the most popular multi-sig quorum for securing Bitcoin in cold storage. What else is multi-sig used for? Beyond upgrading the resilience of an individual's self-custody model, Multisig also has other useful applications. A business, government, or other organization that wants to manage a Bitcoin treasury can use Multisig to require approval from several members of the group in order to access funds. By creating a strategic quorum and spreading key ownership among members, the custody structure can be customized to ensure that each member has the appropriate level of control over the treasury. Multisig can also be used to form a collaborative custody network, which can allow companies to delegate multiple or even all keys in a quorum to several other institutions. Another application of multisig is trust minimized collateral. If you want to use your Bitcoin as collateral for a loan, the most popular structure is a two of three multisig quorum, where the borrower holds one key, the lender holds one key, and a third party arbitrator holds the final key. That way, the lender and the borrower can use their two keys to manage the loan according to their agreement without needing the arbitrator, but the arbitrator can also jump in to help if a key is lost or there is a dispute. Does multisig have trade offs? While multisig has some incredible advantages, there are a couple of things to be aware of. With more keys involved, a multisig wallet is inherently more complex than a single sig wallet, involving more pieces to keep track of. Setting up and managing a multi-sig wallet correctly can be challenging. Additionally, multi-sig transactions can have higher network fees than single sig, although this may change upon adoption from some new technology currently being developed. At Unchained, we believe that the benefits of multi-sig outweigh the trade-offs for most people, especially if you choose to navigate the additional complexity with assistance from a collaborative partnership. And that about does it for this video. We hope you found this helpful for understanding what multi-sig is and why it's a popular tool for securing Bitcoin. If you did, please like the video and share it. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and we'll see you in the next one.